Big shit, big shit, big shit, big shit. It's a unique hustle, nigga. Big shit, big shit, big shit, big shit. Name another podcast like this. Check it, check it, check it. It's a unique hustle. It's your boy ECEO, and I'm here with the lovely, amazing, official Miss Jamaica. What's going on? Not nothing, you know, Madame. Man, well, you know, one of them guys is here, man. You know, this is the reason I do this, man, because this brother right here, see, this gonna get my young people in. See, I look at my analytics, and they really where I wanted to be with them youngsters, man. <laughs> yeah. This cat right here gonna make it happen for me. He has vouched for it. He has became a a player in the Boss Talk One on One game, man. Ziggy Majors is in the building. What's going on, man? Let's go in the building, man. Hey. Yeah. Man, you know, when I when you was on here last time, man, it was just a delight, man. After you left here, I watched your moves, man. I seen how you was doing it. You was reposting stuff. He was on my butt about getting the stuff out. Mm -hmm. He was on me, man. He wasn't playing, man. Thank yeah. you so much for pushing me. Uh, you know I got to stay on it, man. I'm old. So you probably got to push me again. <laughs> so how you been? Man, I've been working, bro. Like, for real. Like, like I never had before. And then... And uh, graduate. This your yeah. last year? Yep. Yeah, man. You know, Duncanville, man. You know, y'all think y'all all at the football teams and all. I see y'all in the news, bro. Y'all really, bro. Y'all, I'm going to be honest with you, man. I wish I was in high school, man. And I wish I was with the rival team, man. I pull up in the bus and I run that school over there like it wasn't nobody business. You know, look, I can't see <laughs> that. I don't even be looking at the sports like that. You don't even without, check in the sport? I do. I hear about it, but it's like... Y'all basketball team weak as hell. No, no. Oh, yeah. I thought you didn't look at it. See, I just shut that down. It was he's like, no, no, no. I know about it, but, you know, I don't be paying attention to it like that. But I know, though. But y'all coach, the main head coach, he couldn't get it done again this year. It's been He go to the championship, but he can't win it. But there's other schools that don't even go. Oh, that boy wanted well, you got to come back to come back mm -hmm. kid. You know what I'm talking about? You, it really was real what you just said. <laughs> like it's something never been right. At least he's making it. Yeah, right. But I, I, he, he's a dope guy, man. That coach is special. I, I've been trying to get him on the show. Yeah. I did get the one from Sock on here. Oh, yeah. But yeah. I, I didn't get him. I been, He the one mentored him. He actually taught him. So oh. that's dope, man. You know, that y'all, y'all in the, yeah, at least you're on the winning team, right? So high school, do you really like, how did, what do you get from it? High school, I, I want to be there with you. Tell me how school is. School, like, school cool, bro. Like, um, you, see, you know, I only said it because, like, you know, you know, it's not bad, but it's just not, like, crazy, crazy good. And it's just regular. School is regular. You go there, do your work, come back. You know. Is yeah. it hard? No. No. Mm -hmm. Not hard. Not hard. Um, well, you're about to go to college. You think college is going to be really hard? Well, no, I don't think college. I think college is going to be a big network thing for me. Okay. Dope. Yeah. So once I go to college, I'm going to, you know what I'm saying? I'm going to turn the college up, bro. Like, I'm I'm already cold with the beats. So imagine me bland, bringing with the Dallas flavor that I got right now, bringing it to whatever college I'm going to go to. It's going to mess their head up. I'm gonna, You know what I'm saying? That's what my daughter did. Yeah. Like, look, when she's looking at colleges, she's looking at, how she can network. If she don't see where she can network at that college, she won't even choose that one. Is that a big factor in you picking the right college? Yeah, it is a big factor, but whatever college I go to, I know I'm going to be outstanding wherever college I go to. Okay, mm -hmm. that's good when you have that confidence in yourself like that. Yeah, you um. So you 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 ready for them girls up there to the college? Cause they, <laughs> they coming for your head, nigga. Now, now, don't take that the wrong way. They coming for you. Say too much, yeah, yeah. Now you, now, now you don't say too much, but yeah, it, they coming, like it, they there. They, <laughs> if they, a mama and them doesn't let them get away. You up there, you, you, your dad and all them ain't. He heard you, all the college you stories. You know all the stories, bro. What you gonna do? I didn't, I didn't heard a few. I don't know. See, you too young to remember what uh what what my boy said on on baby boy uh, on a uh, minutes to the side that hunt is on and you to pray and that and station them were going to college you you don't know nothing about this but at the end of the day <laughs> when somebody going to college man you know what i'm saying sharif and station all them came didn't want to go i'm not going to take it there with you but i'm just telling you going to college takes on a whole nother level of responsibilities <laughs> now what you going to do you got to get down focused. there and and you got to be going to class partying 
There's a story about a college, okay? This store, this college is what Prairie View, mm-hmm. where they party at twelve o'clock during the day on a Wednesday, and then we go back to school. That yeah, that same day they go back to class. This college thing is different. Is you going to they is party it HBCU? Like crazy. What are you going to HBCU? Really? It's, I'm looking at a lot of colleges. I got like I got you know. I'm you saying? got accepted in a lot of different ones. Yeah, I'm just looking, trying to see which one I'm gonna go to, and like I'm trying to make sure I make the right decision. Mm-hmm. But you know, I can't really be like up on it too much because you know when you think about something too much gonna get stressed just, out yeah you know i don't want to let it stress me out you know? what are you looking from a college other than networking like what what exactly are you looking for um but uh, do they have to have engineering like this yeah what you're doing yeah that's that's what that's, that's what, what you're going that's for what I'm majoring in. majoring yeah. mm-hmm. so what else are you what else are you looking for uh in college you know, all the cute girls i mean I don't go. I don't necessarily look for them. It just comes to me. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You know if you know if I do slip on one, you know. Boy, you better not go down there and have no kids. Come on, bro. bro people <laughs> doing it all the time. Bro, you be a young dad, man. Bro, don't do don't, it, bro. Bro, man, yeah, yeah. bro, don't go down there like that. Why would you even think? <laughs> why would you even think of that, bro? Come on, bro. That's what parents do. They think I'm about sure your that. Daddy said the same thing. My daddy, no, I'm not going to do nothing like that. Oh, okay. Wow. Well, I'm going to check it right there. Check it, man. You know what I mean? <laughs> so um, you got a lot of different work that's coming out. Being an engineer and going to school for engineering, um, it, it, a lot of stuff you've probably already been dealing with because of the fact of you being in the music as deep as you are at an early age and coming up, being in the camp, you know what I'm saying, uh, UP, UPMG. Um, you you basically been around that your whole life, right? So you know the music, mm-hmm. you understand what's going on. You made songs for Yellow Beezy, uh, Trap Boy, um, different people. Give me some more names. Lil Ronnie, Lil Ronnie, CJ Casino, Lil CJ Casino. You know Ain't nobody. You got a hell of a, a catalog. A catalog. Yeah. So so, uh, what can they show you down there at that school? Only thing I can do is learn more. Learn That's more. Only thing I can do, I go to a class for a audio AV production. I'm gonna only get better. I'm gonna be so cold. Like it's not gonna be nothing I can't do. Really? So this yeah. music you sold out to it? Yeah. Because you learn a lot. Cause you know nowadays a lot of people talk about oh you don't have to go to school. Um, you just have to. It's like. YouTube is the biggest university. You can learn everything you want to learn off of YouTube. Yeah. So that's the thing is like, what are you going to learn at college that you don't already know? Because I'm sure you did all your research on YouTube and learned a lot of stuff already. Yeah, but it, it's that too, but it's the people you know too. Right. I always got, it's not about what you got, how much money you got. It's about who you know. Because, mm-hmm. you know. That gets you in them doors. Yeah. Wow. For real. Man, my guy Ziggy Maid is in the building, second interview. Spitting fire jewels, yeah. Let these niggas feel it. Yeah, they got to hear this nigga today because at the end of the day, this young nigga he get it right. Yeah. So if a young kid is out here watching you, and because and want to do what you do, mm-hmm. how can they start doing that? Because like, you had the f- fortunate, you were very fortunate to have that in your high school. Yeah. A lot of high schools don't even have that. But I started before I even knew I had that in my high school though. Started okay. before I even knew it. But when I found out I had that program, I was like, oh, yeah, that's big. Mm-hmm. I'm, finna, I'm finna take off right now. Lined up. Yep. So and what then, would you suggest for a kid? How can they get started? What should they do? Uh, they have to find, like, you know, they have to have a vision. If you don't have no goal, you don't have no vision, you don't have no uh, no set point or where you want to be in life, you're just basically doing something for nothing. Mm-hmm. But you gotta have a vision and you gotta have drive too. And you, like work work at the beach talent any day. You can have you can you can be the coldest beat maker in the world, you can be the coldest rapper in the world. But if you inconsistent, then your results gonna be inconsistent as well. So How hard is it for you to stay consistent? Because I still look at you as a kid. I know a lot of kids be like, Man, I wanna go out here and party. I wanna go out here and hang out with my friends. I wanna go do this. Like kids stuff. Yeah. So how do you stay consistent with all your work and all the stuff that you have to do? Well, me personally, I never even, I got to change this, but 
I never been like a outgoing person like that anyway. I always stay to myself. Mm-hmm. But that that's bad and that's good because it increased my work ethic. But I, you know, like my people skills it was probably like you know right. And I can't network like that because I'm always you know. But that's cha- that's been changing though. That's good. That's been changing. But like once you, you have get to college, balance. it's gone. It's gone. It's gonna change. Oh yeah, it's gonna change. But you got to be able to balance that in your right. way. You get, it's all about balance. Well, do you think? Uh, I mean, what do what do people like Yellow Bees and them say to you if you get a conversation with them about your music or anything? Anything that they told you that was dope that you you take to heart and you listen on, whether it be with him, whether it was whoever else, any of the guys that you, because you making the the sound for them and, yeah, and they, I, they may want to articulate and say, hey man, you know this or that. How do you me- how do you mesh with them? Well, really, it's just that like well. Well, Yella, I've been knowing him, so, you know, and then, like, my dad, my dad had told him, he was like, oh, yeah, um, you know, because, you know, he's like, you know, Ziggy making beats now, he's like, for real, let me see some." and then that was like, I, uh, he told me, he was like, all right, now, if it's trash, we're going to say it's trash, <laughs> you know what I'm saying, he was like, if it's trash, I sent him, and it was the first beat I'd ever sent it to him, he sent it to him, and I told y'all, like, he rapped on it, like, two days after that. Wow, yep. it happened just that fast. That fast, and 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 like I said, how did how did and I got to bring this up. How did the trap one to go? Uh, trap. They was on the same song. Oh, that was the same song. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Oh, th- and so, so that was the time when they worked with you on that. Right. Yeah. Man, that's dope, man. That, how does that make you feel though, as a as a one that's you know doing it, the uh, one man, that made it happen, the one that to know that you needed in like that. Man, it feel good, man, but. You know, you know, I looked at it. And I, you know, I was over geek because that was my first placement. So, but like, I had to realize, like, bro, you cannot stop right here That's at all, it. bro. That's so it. I was like, dang, and you know, got some more on the way. But you know, we gonna get that. Yeah. Let's talk about that. The, the more on the way. Let's talk about the new, the new, uh, the the whole the album. album that you're producing. Yeah. Uh, let's talk about that a little bit. What's the name of it? Uh, self-titled Ziggy made it. Self-titled Ziggy made. What inf- yeah. What made you want to do it? Um, it's always been an idea of mine. Uh, me and my uh, manager were talking about it, and he was like, "Man, you need to out of all the songs you got with all the uh, artists that's not out, you need to put that on the album. It's gonna, it's gonna do good." And then the crazy thing about it is, we ain't gonna put it on. A, we gonna put it like as an NFT as well. So that's what we gonna do. It's gonna go up. It's, it, man, I just can't like, bro. Is going up. How so, hard yeah. was it for you to get into NFTs and to understand the concept of it? Well, I'm still understanding the concept, but you know, I have people around me to help, you know, uh, and talk, you know, talk to me about the NFT business and stuff like that. But the way that it's going is really going, you know, it's going. Everything is going to change. Everything is changing. Like everything right. is just pixelated. Everything is like you know, digital. It's fin- everything going to be digital. Exactly. Yeah. That's dope, man. Yeah. That you you found it so early, and your money is so powerful at the age you are now. If you if any money you save till you didn't turn thirty could be it's something else. It equates to millions, actually. And I have a question: the company that you're with on the NFT, do they insure your NFT? Because, like, say if something happens, you know, like how banks have insurance <laughs> insurance policies and stuff like that. Mm. Um. That your money is secure. Does your NFT yeah, is it for secured? Sure, for sure. Okay, how is it secured? Uh, <laughs> I'm sti- like I said, I'm you're still, still learning. I'm still it. learning. Yeah, it's but so I know new. They do, for sure. Yeah, okay. yeah. Be- because I know because um we had a a guest that he was talking about he was talking about how um like whenever you invest into an NFT mm-hmm. you can get a return of a gold coin that's sent to you and that's how you you put that under your bed you, you don't put it in a bank cuz if anything ever happened you still have that gold coin as a right. security yeah so i like that fact the way how he was talking it's like you creating recreating a different wave of money a different yeah. stream of income yeah, cuz gold yeah. is never going anywhere all type of stuff so many different avenues that okay. they can cover. Yeah. 
Wow, okay. that's dope, man. Like to be able to understand the algorithm of NFTs mm -hmm. at such an early stage, and it's not really just been out it's a long not time. Everywhere, and, it's, and, and, and you, you, and you guys are already does, dealing yes. with it, and being a young man right. that's yeah. dealing with it, that's dope right there. And mm -hmm. and and if it's something that, that I can, you know, make a little money out of it too. <laughs> your boy right here, you know, what I'm saying I can. I, I, you I see how his there. voice is lowered. Like yeah, I'll get in there with you. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I get all the way in there with. You. Yeah. But so so what's next for Ziggy, man? Because you're gonna get up there at school, man. You what if you meet somebody up there and, and they wanna get a beat and all this and you find somebody and you you were looking to build your own team? Like what you mean? You're looking Ziggy for talent? made it? Like you're, you're looking, looking for, for talent? talent? You're looking Where for you that? Sign somebody Cause yourself? everybody you know got a got a artist that just mesh with them that just as soon as they you they do the whole project. Will you work whole projects uh, with I certain actually, artists? Uh I have, but oh yeah. I got some with uh, Murder Gang PP, PB on the way. You the whole saying? thing. whole thing produced by me. Ziggy made it. That's going to be dope. That's yeah. what I was talking about. Yeah. See, because that's where I seen a lot of them like uh, YG and Mustard on a beat. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Different yeah. people. Yeah. Uh, it, when you look at all the different ones, uh, okay. I remember Mike yeah. Will made it yeah. with Gucci Man when he first, you know what I'm saying? Like you hear all of these different people, Drama Boy yeah, or, or, or that other dude. Like it's certain ones you hear, oh, uh, yeah. they, they, yeah. they, they get with a certain artist and they do projects and, and, and you never forget them because you hear them drop so many many times yep. in that music that you know okay man mustard ain't working with him on that one that ain't i don't know man he should have stayed with mustard or, like that's that. the way it be when you working yep. your work ethic make people recognize you sure. because you working and you working so much they keep hearing that drop every time yep and that's where i like to hear it too because i know they're getting that money then boy Ooh -wee, man. <laughs> but yeah now nah, me and pb got some on the way bro it's too crucial, too crucial. It's too crucial. Too crucial, bro. Man, man. So, so, man. Like you, you one of those guys. Like I say, I'm gonna be watching. Like I'm gonna be trying to see which way you going with yeah. your movement, man. Because you know, I mean, I know we won your first interview, probably, but boy, we were close. Ooh, we man, mm -hmm. and we were the dopest. Ooh, we man. Yeah. So you know, at the end, I'm feeling myself right there. Feeling myself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm doing my thing right there. Yeah. So. You probably don't even feel that way. I feel you. Ah! This is my second. You, I think it's second interview. Second? Yeah. But this whole went in, didn't it? It did, bro. You like, yeah, that's the one there. You don't know how many people was like, bro, this nigga he got an interview. He got an interview. Y'all ain't seen it. Y'all ain't seen it. When no. I went to school, they Boss told. Yeah. Boss told. I, I posted it. You don't remember Them that? niggas like, that. damn. Yeah. Watch when they see this one, because we've been moving. The numbers is, hey, man, yesterday prices ain't today prices. Hey. <laughs> prices went up. <laughs> So we we over here yeah, different now, like we saying, growing. Like, you don't know how many people were just surprised, bro. Like and then they they start. I told them like, go follow them, go follow them. And was, you you told yeah. them yeah, like that's where it's at. That's where it's at, man. And you the only one that been on here still like seventeen, really just doing something. You the only one, nigga. You holding the crowd, nigga. <laughs> these niggas ain't these niggas ain't busy. Yeah. They ain't working enough. You eighteen now? You eighteen now? Yeah. Man. Yeah, grown man. Bro, you ain't gonna forget about us. You go out there. You I might be know. somewhere on what they call that. Shout out to Big Boy Neil up, uh, up there hey, in uh, let me LA. Tell you when I if when I blow up. Some more. When I blow up coming from college or whatever, if I come back when I come back home, I'm I make sure I'm doing an interview. If you blow up or if you don't blow first, up, nigga, first of all, if you already blowed up. But at the end of the day, when you get your butt back I don't give a, I don't care if you don't do nothing, nigga. You coming over here. We don't look at it like that. <laughs> you but family. I'm just saying, you said don't forget about me. Yeah, but you know when that money thing, if it blow up and you know you dealing with uh you mean uh you and Post Malone got a whole album together or something like that. I don't know, my nigga. I don't know. You know, my, gonna one, be hard thing, to read, one thing one thing I got from Sean Cotton, he, he said you never really know somebody till they get money. Mm, yeah. This money calculator makes something else come out of you. You on a private jet, you coming home, everybody after you. They want to talk to Ziggy Made It. I had a boy like that over here once. He just made it back. Taylor Gabriel, the boy we left here, the boy didn't have nothing. I let the boy come over and do a few push-ups with me. Next thing you know, from 17, 15, 16, 16 all the way up till probably 20-something. Yeah. 20. 324, he come back to see me, said he had three mil. Then he come back again, and he was loaded with the loot. 
Mm-hmm. I didn't get to see him but two times, my guy. Mm-hmm. You know. But he said that he, if I text him, he answered. If I called him, he answered. Yeah. If he could, if he wasn't busy. Yeah. So can you at least give me that much respect, my dude? Bro. <laughs> <laughs> if the, you show love to me, I'm going to show love back, bro. Already, man. He loyal. Bottom he loyal. Down. He loyal. Man, I, I'm going to always be checking for you. If you make it, if you don't make it, you made it with me. I can promise Ain't you Ain't no that. don't make it, and he going to make it. You hear what I say? If you make it or you don't make it. Oh, you think you don't make up? Making it in your mind is what making it that's is. It Ooh, mm-hmm. That's it, right? That was a bar, nigga. Making it in your mind is what making it is. Yeah. If you can't make it in your mind, I don't care what you make, you ain't made it. Yeah. So, therefore, you have to be able to control your thinking in order to understand where you have evolved to. If you don't know how to scale in your mind, you'll never scale in your finances. Yeah. Right? <laughs> so, what, what, who would you like to work with? Uh, if you had your choice, like anybody, anybody, anybody. uh, I say, um, future for sure. Future, you yeah. like future, yeah. The future was last time, future put nothing out. He don't be doing like he used to when he first came no. out. Future and them got that money, yeah, yeah, they got that money now, so they they different. It, they changed the money. The, Sean Cotton once again. You never know nobody <laughs> until they get money. Or maybe like he just. How old is he? Oh, he retired. Is that what you're trying to say? Nah. Didn't he just announce an album? Yeah, he got. I ain't saying he don't oh. have music. Oh. It's just the, the, that 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 you know when the person first doing it, boom, boom, everything yeah. back to I, back yeah. coming out. Because when Future Fred came, and out. you couldn't miss him every time you. Uh, uh, yeah, uh, was that mess up some comments? I ain't gonna. Uh, uh, what was that? Was that mess up some comments? My favorite song from I Future. I think that was it. My favorite song from Future is March Madness. What about Best that one when he said, "Why March Madness, mm-hmm. bro? Do you hear the beat, bro?" But when that nigga said, "So uh, when you listen to music, you just listen to the beat. You don't even I mean, listen to anything." I else. listen to all the music. That beat, that nigga listen to that beat more than anything. And then the crazy how the beat was made. It was just a bunch of arps put together. Mm-hmm. And then some drums. Yeah. 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 He he have a lot of music though. Yeah. That dude and then got. the thing about Future is that he's an instrument with the beat. Yeah. 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 That's yeah. why he's so easy to listen to. Wow. Yep. Dope. Dope analogy. So, man, first of all, thank you for coming on Boss Talk yeah, again, man. Sure. You came back, man. You came back, show love to the channel, man. Yeah, for sure. And and listen, man, like I say, we locked in. Whatever you need, if you in college or wherever, no matter what, I'm here. If I'm if I'm living, I'm here, bro. Yeah. So you can sure. always hit me up. My number ain't changed since you got it last time. Yeah, twenty years, nigga. I had my number before you was born. You know. <laughs> so I got that same number, man. So you gotta keep that same energy if you need me. You know what I mean? Nah, for real. Thank I'm you for coming you. on Boss Talk. Let these young niggas know that they gotta tap in to Boss Talk One Hundred and One. They gotta like. They gotta subscribe. They got a link with us, Ziggy made it because at the end of the day, that's what keep us pushing and pressure. Yeah. How you like what the show is going? You, yeah. I love what I value. Your... I've been seeing what, what y'all doing. Y'all been making some big moves, bro. I've been seeing. Really, that. you you yeah. like what's going down? For real. Man, thank you so much. That, yeah. that means a lot coming from you, bro. Because you see where we was, you know. Uh, we 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 always had a lot of cameras, though, dude. Yeah, I think. So. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. We always started off with a lot of cameras, man. We bought yeah. some new ones though since you've been gone. Oh yeah, I, did. I still got the other ones too. I'm just talking getting about twenty angles, nigga. I don't know. I'm losing my mind. Yeah, <laughs> my mind playing tricks on me. <laughs> Say, so. but thank you so much for coming on the show. Yep. yep. We, hey, we got much love for you. Okay, is there anything we left out? Did we cover everything? We covered everything. Like a real man should. You know what I'm saying? We covered it all. Right? <laughs> Check it, man. Hey, man, we love you. Yeah, Been sure. another great segment, man, of Boss Talk 101, where the bosses talk. Oh, nah, yeah. for real. Man.